Meanwhile, the Ukrainian government is doing what it can to keep the country's economy running. And still, its money is running out fast. The IMF executive board approved a $1.4 billion loan to Ukraine on March 10th. But experts say it won't last for long. Oksana Bedratenko has a story narrated by Anna Rice. Despite Russia's invasion of Ukraine extending into a third week, the country's economy, including banks and transfers, keeps functioning though a lot has had to be adjusted and altered. I would like to applaud Ukrainian authorities for the dedication and effort and success that they've had so far managing the situation. We know that the central bank is working very actively. To keep things going, the National Bank of Ukraine had transferred close to 19 billion hryvna, the equivalent of roughly $630 million, to its state budget. It also limited all foreign exchange transactions and is managing the exchange rate to keep it stable. Banks have introduced repayment holidays for their clients, says Alexander Petrik with the Council of the National Bank of Ukraine. There are limitations on withdrawing cash, not just organizationally speaking. Realistically, delivering cash to ATMs is very risky at the moment, because many large cities are home to military actions. But local businesses have figured out a workaround. Whoever needs cash can get it. And there is another solution that I think is ingenious. It's a win-win. Retailers now work as ATMs. You can get cash at the cash register. That way we can avoid additional cash in transit operations and not risk lives. Still, when a large portion of the economy is immobilized, money gets spent very fast. So on March 10th, the IMF executive board approved a $1.4 billion loan to Ukraine. But even that might not be enough. My concern is that the loan so far being discussed might be enough for a month rather than a full year financing. So the gap is, is going to be extraordinary. Rybakova says the invasion will hurt profits and has damaged the country's ability to produce goods. At the same time, the money the government has to spend during an invasion means expenses go way up. But Ukraine can get some additional funds, says Oleg Churi, former deputy head of Ukraine's central bank. I can see the possibility of getting additional funding. Last year, the allocation of SDR equivalent of about $650 billion took place. It would be great if developed countries like the U.S. or European countries could transfer their share of SDRs to Ukraine. If this mechanism works, Ukraine's budget will have enough funds. The National Bank of Ukraine is expecting more financial aid from donors. According to the estimates by the National Bank, we expect financial aid of some $15 billion in the near future to come, from international organizations, our partner countries, etc. The whole world is supporting Ukraine today. Ukraine's economy is having to adjust quickly to a martial scenario. But despite the relative flexibility of government financiers, the country will need international help to stay afloat.